Hey guys, Charlie here from Route Export Customs. Um, today we're going to show you a quick tutorial on how to install the new animated mesh bike chain. Um, it's first for Second Life, so we're really excited to get it all put in and ready for you to use. First of all, you're going to receive your box, which is your mesh animated bike chain box. And then you're going to right click, open, and then copy all your inventory to your inventory. Inside the box you'll get the demo, which is this here, showing you how it will look. Second you'll get the actual chain itself, which is made up of three different prints. So just be careful when resizing. Okay, and also you'll receive your mesh chain animation main script. Pretty simple, I'm going to do it on a pre-existing bike. Um, that is already scripted, um, but obviously it's going to work the same if you were to do a bike from scratch. Now, say your bike's all ready to go, it's on the stand. What you want to do is you want to hit uh, options, advanced, and then reboot um, to get the bike to get straight. <coughs> bike should stay straight like that for you. Next what you want to do is you want to grab the your old bike chain that you had, delink that and delete it. Now the, because of the KCP script rebooting they it might go back into the park position. If it does do this then you just obviously hit reboot again. Okay. Now you want to take your chain number three. There's a new one out. In fact. Okay. Now what I'm going to quickly do here is just want to show you a quick trick. I'm going to copy that over. Now sometimes you have to flip and change and modify it as much as you can to stretch to get the chain to fit now like I said you've got these two other prims but don't worry okay there's an easy trick to do if you grab your main one and when you finish positioning in that one um, if you go here to options object and this one here, sizing meters, if you copy that perimeter and then paste that perimeter to that prim and do the same for that one. When that is done, you can do it again, go back to the main prim, copy the position, paste the position, paste the position on that one. So there's an easier way to try and edit as much as you can. Right, so that is fitted. Um, quite rough looking at the moment but obviously you guys will do a much better job once that is fitted to the bike you want to grab that object grab that object and link as far as I know the bike shouldn't go back into rest pose but hey there it goes it's going to go back into rest pose that's fine absolutely fine because as you can see the chain has gone into the rest pose too along with the bike your main root prim that you've used for KCP grab your this main script here and whack it inside and that is pretty much it, it's done now if we just do a quick another quick reboot options, advanced just to make sure Put it to the ground. Unlock it. And get shady to jump on. And start right. As you can 
see it's animating nicely and going around just like a real train would be and there we go perfect okay there is one known issue at the moment and that's to do with the the root print if I can find it root prim. Now sometimes the root prim will go back to its default texture. Um, some cases it's happened, some cases it hasn't. Um, where normally we would do transparency 100 on for the root prim. If we go here and go to the textures and go to transparent, that will stop that from happening. But that is the only known issue we've got at the moment. Well, I hope that helps. Um, if it hasn't, then go back to the note card but I should have explained everything you need to know but it is easy to set up one script all done thanks <laughs>